we move on to the next panel of gaming influencer marketing where we have some of the top gaming influencers from india who will discuss how brands can benefit from the millions of followers through influencer marketing tactics please uh, join me in welcoming our panelists and uh, session chair well we have with us ankit pant a v3 norm uh, red bull athlete and a gamer we've got ujwal chaurasia techno gamer uh, said we've got uh, of course uh, ankit uh, who's of, uh, who's a red bull athlete and a gamer himself we've got ankit chauhan who's a gaming content creator we've got shakufta ikbal who's a gaming uh, content creator uh, by uh, the company name being uh, xyaa please shakufta if you can clarify we'd love that we've got samira who's a content creator and a youtuber and we've got of course sanjay tripathi who's a co-founder and ceo agilio labs who's going to be the session chair well wow you know with all the influencers on the screen it's going to be a great a conversation and we're loving the energy already all right i can see a few of you on the on the screen uh, but yes as you can see everyone's turning on their cameras and we're liking it and we would want to stick on the schedule so of course uh, we uh, request our session chair sanjay i know there are two of your fans right now on your screen and apologies uh, we didn't have everyone join in but i'm sure the team is following up on that but let's uh, start the games and you've got the influencers mega influencers on the screen uh, please take the conversation ahead and we'll update you once the others join in thank you okay hope oh, others are joining very shortly so uh, <laughs> never nevertheless like you know we'll start with ankit i think ankit we had a very great discussion yesterday and uh, why don't you start saying that you know how you become an gamer or an influencer in this uh, like you know where it started uh, hi first of all thank you for this opportunity uh i started when uh, uh you know i was in school i saw this uh, black tinted glasses in front of me there was a shop and you know there was a lot of loud noises coming out so i went inside and you know that's where uh, i got uh, to know about gaming cafes that was my first move and uh, after that i started inquiring about you know what is this what is this all about so i got to know that you know pay you pay and you play for some time and you can play multiple games then i did a little a little more research i got to know that you can represent your country in gaming so that intrigued me and you know i thought ki i want to do this because i want to lift uh, my country's flag on an international stage so that was my move into professional gaming through gaming cafes oh so nice any challenges you faced like you know when <laughs> into the journey hell lot of challenges first of all uh, parents acceptance was not there uh, they thought that you know me going in that uh, dark room was a dungeon and you know i was going there to gamble they thought that machines and computers they did not understand all of that so they thought i you know i take money i take that 10 rupees i go in that cafe and you know i try to get it 20 or 3 uh, 30 rupees out of it but then slowly slowly i made them understand that you know this is not gambling i play and you know there are tournaments that happen and maybe in future i can take this as a career so there are a lot there were a lot of misconceptions about gaming once i told this to my parents then the second thing came that you will get spectacles you will get back pain uh, once my mom saw that you know i was standing outside with my uh, teammates and you know they were shouting someone was smoking drinking and uh, abusing and then those misconceptions started happening that you know you will also become like them you should not go in that place that's a dark place you will ruin your life so all of that uh, started happening but then slowly slowly i told them you know you give me your doubts if those guys are doing it I, that doesn't mean i want to do it i want to represent my country at the highest level so i took took a notebook actually and you know i noted all that doubts so you can no smoking no drinking this is a uh, back pain uh, spectacles and all these not having a proper diet so then slowly slowly until today you know i don't drink i don't smoke i tell my fans also that you know this is these are all bad things you shouldn't do it that aggression is not there my mom thought that you know gaming i play fps games there is shooting and you know you uh, uh, plant a bomb you defuse a bomb you throw flashes so my mom thought you know you will get into all these uh, aggressive things you shouldn't do that and touch wood till today nothing bad has happened and now i have that trust uh, saying that okay matlab mera bachcha is not like that you know and now he's playing at the highest level he has people who love him um, he's playing for the country also So now things are good, but back then it was very difficult to make them understand all these things. Samir, uh, Samira, like uh, you heard Ankit's story, like you know how you become a gaming influencer, and you know did you face some similar challenges from your parents, uh, like you know preconceived notions kind of thing? 
not really but i was a very studious kind of like a, a student i was into studies and all, a lot and whenever i was back at home my mom used to tell me kuch khelo play something why you always keep like books and all and she encouraged me actually so i was always into this video games when in school then it started like okay my mom used to tell okay pehle padhai baad mein khelo and so it, Uh, be when i got into a job then i uh, realized okay now i can you know start something with gaming or it's always like 9 to 5 wala boring job so so whenever i used to uh, i mean get back home after the work i used to you know play our uh, games so i just uh, had a thought like yeah we can stream this too so it just started and uh, yeah they all like supported me so ankita like now uh, uh, we just heard a uh, uh, story of uh, Ankit and Samira. So, what is your story? How you become a gaming influencer, and what kind of challenges you faced? Okay. Uh, okay. Ujjal, your story is what? I mean, how did you become a gaming influencer? And what kind of challenges did you face? And Ujjal, this is for you uh, joining a little later, so don't mind the interruption. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, बचपन से पैशन था गेम्स वगैरह खेलने का कभी मोबाइल में कभी टीवी में जहां भी मिल जाए खेलते ही रहते थे बट फिर ऐसे देखा यूट्यूब पे मैंने कुछ क्रिएटर्स को देखा और उनको देख के मैं भी काफी कुछ सीखता था गेम्स में और फिर अपने दोस्तों को भी सिखाता था तो फिर मेरा भी एक टाइम मन हुआ कि मैं अपने दोस्तों को यूट्यूब वीडियो के थ्रू ही सिखाता हूँ ऐसे फन के लिए मैंने ऐसे तीन चार वीडियो अपलोड करा वो वीडियो तो मैंने अपने दोस्तों को दिखाया था बट फिर कुछ टाइम बाद देखा इन सब वीडियोस पर डेढ़ सौ दो सौ व्यूज वगैरह आ गए और फिर वो मेरे भाई ने देखे वीडियोस और उसको उस चीज के बारे में पता था कि यूट्यूब में आ, करियर बन सकता है और उसने मेरे पैशन को पहचाना एंड फिर सपोर्ट करा धीरे धीरे चलते गए और चैलेंजेस वही पढ़ाई एग्जाम सब आ गए क्योंकि मैंने टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड के बाद ही स्टार्ट कर दिया तो एक बैलेंस करना बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट होता है अगर मैं ये इतना बड़ा रिस्क ले रहा हूँ कि गेम भी खेलना है और मेरे को साथ के साथ मतलब पढ़ाई भी करनी तो दोनों को बैलेंस करते करते यही सबसे बड़ा चैलेंज था उस टाइम पे बंद कर दिया फिर थोड़े बहुत अप एंड डाउन एंड वीडियोस डालता रहा रेगुलरली एंड फिर चल गया एक वीडियो वायरल की एंड फिर ऑडियंस आगे चैनल पे एंड ग्रो हो गया गुड वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सगुप्ता लाइक यू हर्ड अंकित स्टोरी एंड उज्जवल स्टोरी सो सो हाउ यू बिकम एन इन्फ्लुएंसर एंड डिड यू फेस सिमिलर चैलेंजेस व्हाइल बिकमिंग एन इन्फ्लुएंसर मेरा स्टोरी भी लाइक उज्जवल जैसा क्वाइट सिमिलर है आई होप यू ऑल कैन हियर मी Um, yeah 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 yes yeah. we can so my story is also very similar to ajwal like my bachpan se i was always into gaming and um, i used to play like lots of my dad had a computer and usme bed ke i used to play games din raat and then uh, my friends got me introduced to like online multiplayer games fir wo sab chalu hua and fir online games mein kaise fir um, like i used to watch videos and stuff you know to learn more about the game and usse mere ko pata chala ki there is a thing called streaming jidhar log um, like khud ka game stream karte hai fir un व्यूअर्स आते हैं उनका एक कम्युनिटी फॉर्म होता है एंड मैं हमेशा से कैसे थोड़ी शाई टाइप पर्सनालिटी था मेरा सो आई डू नॉट हैव अ लॉट ऑफ फ्रेंड्स सो आई वाज लाइक कि हां ये मेरे को एक अच्छा चीज दिख रहा है जिससे आई कैन यू नो मेक फ्रेंड्स ऑनलाइन थ्रू गेमिंग थ्रू डूइंग व्हाट आई लव सो आई आल्सो स्टार्टेड स्ट्रीमिंग एज ए एज अ हॉबी एट एट द स्टार्ट आई हैड लाइक वन टू पीपल हु यूज्ड टू वॉच मी एंड देन स्लोली स्लोली इट ग्रो एंड उसके बाद में चैलेंजेस के रिगार्ड्स में मैंने भी स्टार्ट किया था जब मेरा आई थिंक इंजीनियरिंग में थी तो वही था मुश्किल लाइक यू नो बैलेंसिंग स्टडीज एंड गेमिंग दैट वाज माय नंबर वन चैलेंज एंड फिर मेरे को जॉब भी लगा सो जॉब भी रहता था मेरा लाइक ऑल डे एंड देन फिर घर रात को आके आई टू स्ट्रीम सो इट वाज डिफिकल्ट यू नो बैलेंसिंग दैट सो या गुड गुड आई थिंक यू नो एवरीवन हैड द सेम सेम चैलेंजेस व्हाइल यू नो ग्रोइंग अप इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्टडीज बैलेंसिंग एंड यू नो पेरेंट्स लाइक नो ऑब्जेक्शन फ्रॉम पेरेंट्स और लाइक यू नो हाउ टू रियली मैनेज दैट काइंड ऑफ थिंग Ankit, like uh, when you thought like you are gaining followers, is it the game which helped, or your con- creating content, or your engagement with the uh, followers actually helped you? You felt that okay, now that you know I'm getting a follower base, and I should do this more and more. I think uh, for me, it came from it came from the game that I played. I started with Counter Strike 1.6. Uh, back then, social media was not that big. Then, when Counter Strike Global Offensive came, uh, social media started improving, and with Valorant. so for me it was more about you know playing at the highest level uh, represent your country representing your country and you know being there in the top 3 uh, in india so people uh, wanted to know more about me wanted to know what i did how i earned money what are these tournaments so my uh, fans came from uh, most of the fans came from there only okay uchil aapne red bull athlete bane aap thodi bata sakte hain red bull athlete kaise bane aur like you know aapka fan kaise aapka 
आप कौन सा गेम के वजह से फैन बढ़ा और आपका कंटेंट के लिए फैन बढ़ा आपका क्या स्टोरी है वन मिलियन तक जो मेरे सब्सक्राइबर्स ग्रोथ थी वो ऐसी थी कि कभी बढ़ रही है एक आध वीडियो वायरल गए सब्सक्राइबर्स आने लग गए फिर थोड़ी डाउन है सब मतलब धीरे धीरे करते करते वन मिलियन तक सब्सक्राइबर्स आए देन मैंने क्या करा मैं सिर्फ मोबाइल गेम्स पे था क्योंकि उस टाइम में मोबाइल था फिर मैंने क्या करा एक रिस्क लिया कि मैं पी गेम्स पर स्विच होता हूँ बट उसमें ये रिस्क था कि जो ऑडियंस मेरे को देखता है उन पर मोबाइल है तो शायद वो पी गेम्स ना देखे बट फिर मैंने रिस्क लिया एंड गेम्स खेलना स्टार्ट करा और मैंने जी स्टार्ट करा था एंड जी में खुद का एक सीरीज बनाया और वो लोगों को बहुत पसंद आया और वहीं से चैनल बहुत अच्छा खासा बूम हुआ एंड रेडबुल एथलीट का जो मुझे ये लगता है कि मेरे को बहुत सारे ना मतलब ऐसे कुछ अब हट के करना था थोड़ा सा गेमिंग से बाहर निकल के उस जोन में एंड रेडबुल को भी कुछ ऐसे ही एथलीट की जरूरत थी जिनका कुछ अलग करने का मन हो कुछ ऐसे थोड़ा डिफरेंट गेमिंग को लेकर ही बट थोड़े अलग लेवल पे तो फिर हम दोनों का एक मतलब मैच हुआ वो सीन एंड जो बैकग्राउंड अगर देखे तो शायद रेड बुलेट मतलब रेड बुल को मेरे अंदर जो स्पेशल चीज़ें लगी वो यही है कि आ, कभी किसी से कोई कंट्रोवर्सी नहीं एंड एक पॉजिटिव ऑडियंस जो कहीं पर उतना मतलब एक वही पॉजिटिव इमेज शायद से रेड बुल को मेरे अंदर देखी ये नहीं कि बहुत ज़्यादा ऑडियंस है इसलिए क्योंकि मैंने नहीं देखा कि रेडबुल इस चीज़ पर ज़्यादा फोकस करता है कि इसका बहुत ज़्यादा ऑडियंस है तो इसको रेड बुल एथलीट बनाओ वरना आज फिर बहुत सारे एथलीट होते बट मेरे को जो ये लगा एंड सबसे अच्छी चीज़ जो ये है कि कुछ बड़ा एंड कुछ हटके जो करना जो भी इन फ्यूचर आएगा वो बस हो जाए मजा आने वाला हो थोड़ा सा गेमिंग है बट थोड़ा बाहर निकल के रियल लाइफ गेमिंग तो अंकिता व्हेन यू थॉट यू आर एक्चुअली गेटिंग फॉलोअर्स और लाइक यू स्टार्टेड बिलीविंग दैट यू आर अ गेमर नाउ पीपल आर फॉलोइंग यू यू हैव टू क्रिएट कंटेंट सो इज इट बिकॉज़ ऑफ द गेम्स यू प्लेड और बिकॉज़ ऑफ द कंटेंट यू क्रिएटेड सो वेयर यू फाउंड द डिफरेंस uh i think it was i think people watched me for my personality i think uh, it's not just the game you have to be entertaining as a person uh, yourself if you're going to be live streaming and you want people to come watch you so i think that's uh, what set me apart okay so samira is it uh, do you believe what ankita is saying or saying or like you think like you know, there is something more also to become a good gamer or good streamer Yeah, with me, uh, the thing was uh, people were like uh, much curious. Ki ha multilingual stream dal rakha hai. So I mean, how say how can you talk in like nine languages? ठीक है हम ये language में बात करते हैं to reply us in that language. So ऐसे मतलब curiosity बढ़ती गई कि कैसे मतलब इतने languages कैसे बात कर रही है ये. So uh, people started growing like that. <laughs> Okay, uh, Shagupta, like you also call yourself Zaya. So, what is the story? Like, you know, why you have got another name? Because people <laughs> believe in that name, or they follow you on that name. How you created that name, and uh, how you gained followers? Uh, so, Zaya, actually, like, बहुत पहले I uh, there was this favorite YouTuber of mine, and उसने अपनी cat का नाम Zaya रखा था, and उधर से मेरे को inspiration मिला ये नाम का. मेरे को बहुत ही ऐसे unique, थोड़ा mysterious type लगा ये name. so that's why i just chose it and you know gaming name like it's a alag se mera personality ban gaya like me irl shagufta is like i mean kind of different than like me online so yeah and aajkal to mujhe mere family members bhi mujhe zaya se hi bulate hain <laughs> kabhi kabhi um and followers gaining ke baat hai i mean i always try to experiment with my uh, games and content like hamesha i never really really stuck to one single game so mere jo audience hai wo bahut sare different games se fir waise padhte hain so Yeah, I like to experiment, and us say my audience, like my, I got more and more followers from that. Good, Ankit. Uh, do you follow any international gamer, and you know, um, and uh, what you have learned from them? Is there anything which you have picked from them, like you know, when you are trying to become a gaming influencer, like that? This is something that you want to acquire, let's say, like uh, all the top gamers around the world. So I used to follow. Uh... NIP, MIBR, these Counter Strike 1.6 teams back then, and I noticed one thing that you know these guys uh, were not relying on uh, only tournament prize winnings. So coming from a humble background, I knew I couldn't you know rely on uh, the winnings only because uh, no one can say that you will going to you are going to win every uh, tournament that you play. And in my case also, it was the same thing. So uh, I asked myself this question back then that what if I lose a tournament and I don't get money? how would i you know pay for, for my electricity how would i feed my parents and uh, that's when you know i got the uh, i did some research and i got to know about sponsorships and about a little bit of marketing so back then i started you know knocking at uh, sponsors doors and you know telling them this is uh, what i do and uh, you know i am 
the best in the country would you like to sponsor us so from there uh, the sponsorship uh, sponsorship journey began and uh, slowly slowly you know a lot of uh, brands started coming in that's where the real money was back then in 1.6 in uh, counter strike global or even now valorant because uh, if i told my parents that you know uh, only if i win uh, i'll get money and only then i can take care of yourself uh, care of uh, my family and you guys then they'll it would not been it, it would not have been right and i didn't want to keep my family hanging there ki agar jeetega to hi paisa milega and then you will have to uh, do something so i started building it uh, very early and that's what i learned learned from the global teams that you know they were playing well uh, they were being uh, represented well in our case uh, we had to do in my case at least i had to do everything on my own because uh, back then making mark uh, those uh, marketing heads understand uh, about sponsorships and you know how uh, they will benefit if they sponsor me if they get a uh, logo on my jersey so those were the things which really helped and you know we started uh, things started falling in place so this was something that i learned from the international teams ujjal um, you heard ankit story aapko sponsorship kaise mila aapko brand association kaise start hua फर्स्ट uh, टाइम मतलब जब मेरे वन लाख सब्सक्राइबर्स है तो मैं ऐसा काफी देखता था कि सब पे ऐसे कुछ ना कुछ ब्रांड डील्स आ रही हैं बहुत सारी अलग अलग तो एक ना उस टाइम तो एक शौक हुआ यार मेरे पे भी आओ मतलब वो था कि हम किसी चीज का पैसों के लिए नहीं मतलब वो तो एक है ही टॉपिक कि हाँ हमसे एक एक्स्ट्रा रेवेन्यू आएगा बट एक वो भी था अंदर से पता नहीं कि मन करता था कि हम किसी चीज की और एड कर रहे हैं तो फर्स्ट टाइम जो मेरे को स्पॉन्सर आया था वो था स्टॉक मार्केट का और जो कि मेरी एक बहुत बड़ी गलती थी कि मैंने उसे प्रमोट करा और वही फर्स्ट एंड लास्ट था उसमें क्या था कि वही है जो मार्केट होता है अप एंड डाउन जो भी चीज रहती है तो उस चीज को मैंने प्रमोट करा फिर बाद में मैंने खुद से ही क्वेश्चन करा है कि क्या ये सही है मतलब एक ऑडियंस है मेरा उनको खुद मालूम है वो सारे मतलब मैक्सिमम बच्चे हैं तो फिर उनको नहीं समझ आएगा और उल्टा तो मतलब पैसा खराब करने वाला गेम है तो वही एक मिस्टेक था देन उसके बाद फिर ऐसे गेम्स के मैंने फिर ये कोशिश करा कि कोई ऐसी चीज ही प्रमोट करूं जिसमें मेरा तो फायदा हो ही रहा है बट साथ के साथ जो मेरी ऑडियंस है उनका भी फायदा होना चाहिए तो फिर यही था कि जैसे गेम्स आ रही है नई नई गेम्स को प्रमोट करना जो सच्ची में अच्छी है मेरे को खेलने में मजा आ रहा है ऐसा नहीं है कि मैं जो भी गेम आ रही है बस प्रमोट कर दी मेरे को खुद से अच्छी लगती है कि हाँ इसको मजा आ रहा है खेलने में अब मैं वही प्रमोट करता हूँ एंड कुछ इसे टाइप से स्पॉन्सर मिलते गए एंड फिर जो भी अब आता है तो मैं वही कोशिश रहती है कि दोनों का फायदा हो So Samira, like you know, we, uh, we heard from uh, Ujjwal that he doesn't want to do the uh, stock market one. So is there any no-no for you when you are actually getting brand association? Yeah. Or like you know, how you how you give value to the brands when the brands comes to you? Yeah, exactly. I uh, would love to share my experience. Same thing happened with me. Uh, I got like a opportunity. जहाँ पे मेरे को like कुछ something related to betting. सो so, ये वाला मतलब प्रमोट करना था देन आई डिनाइड से हाँ लाइक बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ आर ऑडियंस विल बी किड्स लाइक स्कूल गोइंग किड्स एंड ऑल सो कीपिंग दैट इन माइंड वी एक्चुअली डिनाइड दैट ऑफर कि नहीं करना है तो ankita so like you know there are many influencers there are many types of influencer which we see in the uh, in the market it can be fashion blogger it can be travel so where you think as gaming influencer has a differential uh, offering for the brand or the marketers and which are the category you think you know gaming influencer can do a good job compared to other influencers uh when it comes to gaming influencers there are so so many of us and everybody's doing something different we are not just playing games when you look at us a uh, lot of us have uh, you know ex- uh, experimented with vlogging with uh, travel vlogs with lifestyle vlogs with uh, fashion and there's so many other things that gamers do and I believe that apart from gaming, we can also provide you know all of these lifestyle brands with uh, something great. Oh, like Sagupta, so, like in a study we discussed about this, like uh, we uh, where you think like uh, gaming influencer uh, add value. For example, uh, what you do uh, for the brand so that you know you believe brands as brand find find you stickier in terms of whether it's a content creation or going out of the way to really uh, do something more for the brand can you give any example which you have done for any of the brands um so i am currently working with uh, msi gaming as a um, as they are my sponsor and um, so for them it's like they don't really give me a lot of work like beech beech mein they give me work to do but then even without any work like sometimes i will post a video for them or sometimes i'll post a story for them 
and tag them in my um, in my stories and stuff so they get really happy like hey we did not ask you to do this for us but you're still doing it for us so they really appreciated that so you know like we we just don't have to stick with the deliverables if you go out of your way and do something for the brand then they really appreciate it oh okay uh, ankit uh, this is the last question i think uh, like you know we have like you know, we have almost consumed all times uh, and at time so see you have seen uh, you are one of the senior gamers you have seen uh, how the brands has come in you started with getting going to the brands directly then now there are a lot of uh, agencies which reach up to you but if you look at international gamers and in, uh, international influencers the kind of categories they do and the kind of categories where uh, our influencers are doing do you think there is a gap and what the uh, influencer or the brands can do more to really get game, gaming influencer you use gaming gaming influencers more i think brands uh, earlier also when i went to my first brand uh, he was like oh, we don't trust gamers uh, uh, we had a very bad experience and you know that was like an eye opener for me because i didn't do it but you know i had to take the blame uh, because of all uh, gamers so i uh, you know decided to change that and i think right now it's improving a lot uh, for what from what i can see earlier it was uh, not the case earlier everyone used to go through you know agencies because they feel safe there the brands feel safe that okay if the gamer does not uh, you know uh, do the deliverables agency will make them do they have contract signed and then the brands don't want to you know go to the influencer or uh, whoever they are signing that bar bar you you do this you have to you know you promised this but you didn't do it and that's why they take the route of an agency most of the guys uh, most of the brands i feel feel uh, are very secured in you know going to big agencies and telling them okay uh, get me 10 influencers or get me five influencers you know this is a project and then the agencies uh, start pitching uh, the influencer that this is what you want to do uh, these are the deliverables what are your commercials in my case i have always uh, been uh, going to the branch, uh, branch directly and that has really worked well for me so when uh, now now for an example if i tell you my sponsorships now i am uh, the brand ambassador of hyperx i am a red bull athlete i'm the brand ambassador of intel i'm the brand ambassador of alienware so these are all uh, you know directly uh, brand sponsorships when i speak to them they don't want to take me uh, for uh, someone who would you know uh, do uh, six posts or you know 10 posts they sign me for yearly contracts and then depends on brands to brands also now some do micro influencer campaigns some do uh, proper influencer campaigns and some do the brand ambassador types so this is what i tell uh, people in the community also that you should start with small because i also start with small you can't just go there and tell them that you know i want to be the brand ambassador of your brand so trust me the brands will not give you their logo till their time they start trusting you i have worked really hard and i know for the fact that they might first give you something some gear that you know some peripherals that they want to promote then they might give you some money but if they trust you completely then only you know they, you will be given their logo and uh, you they will you know uh, welcome you to the family so this is what agencies kind of do in a better way but now from all these gaming hypes uh, the game, games which are growing valorant and you know battle grounds and all these influencers like ankita and all these big guys zaya ujwal now these guys can go directly to the brands because they have worked hard i have seen them you know growing uh, since the beginning uh, these are uh, legit people so brands now the atmosphere is that okay now they can trust him because they have done multiple campaigns they have uh, done multiple projects but earlier it was not the case okay uh thank you thank you ankit i think uh, what ankit said and you know all the panelists are actually saying that you know gaming gaming influencers are really really growing in india and uh, like in international markets uh, the lot of brands are now going to the gaming influencers it is not restricted to the categories like mobile phones or electronic items you know it is like lifestyle brands and all all those things are coming the target segment is like you know youth and there are a lot of brands looking at youth i think more and more a brands if they can come to uh, the gaming influencer i think they will get lot more value because of their unique content and more importantly the kind of followers they get probably most of them are unique followers because they don't really follow other uh, fashion or other influencer kind of thing i think it's a win win kind of thing and uh, i wish you all the best and uh, thank you so much for joining the panel thank you thank you thank, thank you. you so much thank sanjay you. for letting us know these mega influencers and i'm sure their followers would really keenly look forward to the upcoming projects in future thank you for flagging the industry with all the poise and respect you've garnered for yourself thank you thank you thank you god bless